Okay, race 34 is the Lark Hill Open Hunter's Chase. A nice field here for a Hunter's Chase. People all want to be part of this. Over two mile two felons. Awesome Paddy is number one. Warrishia River is number two. Viking Girl is number three. Fascinate is number four. Five is Tenby Crackpot. Six, Sing Fade. Seven, Still Wins. Eight, Francis Drake. Nine, Business Lady. Ten, Darling Deanie. Eleven, Grey Lamy Worthy. Twelve, Pipe and Live. Thirteen, New Orleans. Fourteen, K Killing Viking, 15 Rose Park, 16 Worthy V, Allegram and Jabuel make 17 and 18, 18 of them in a Hunter Chase here, probably the biggest field we've ever had over a Hunter Chase, obviously uh, uh, Handicapper Grey has, uh, has been quite kind to a lot of these horses, as they're obviously uh, all under 100, so they're through the first uh, furlong, and it still wins Business Lady and New Orleans, the three that are going to lead us to the first of 16. And the leaders are over it, everyone else skips over it. A bit of a poor jump by the grey there, which was uh, Graham's Tenby crackpot. And there's plenty of time to get into this race. It's Business Lady and still wins. They're going to lead us through. From the third New Orleans, we've got Sing Fade and Awesome Paddy. And Silks of Dump Warren's Worthy V. Still business lady and still wins. Okay, camera work here. Not getting level. And worthy V New Orleans Sing Fade Awesome Paddy. And followed through by Viking Girl and Killing Viking. Great Army Worthy's there. Pipe and Lied Mid Pack. Tenby Crackpot's done a little bit better now. Towards a fence and fascinate for Molly at Surfer. And we'll skip over the water. And then we've got Allegram, Jabuelli. Rose Parks towards the rear and out wide. Darling Dini and Bonchier River, the final grey, bring up the rear. But up front, it's a little bit of a change now. Worthy V of Doug Warren's decided to take this up from Business Lady and still wins. They're over the fifth. Everybody jumped that quite well. Oh, Jabuel towards the rear. Oh, a little peck of it. You get to the sixth. They come quite quick and fast over this hunter's chase here. And already through that. And it's Worthy V from Business Lady and New Orleans. And still wins out wide awesome Paddy. The pink silks of Sing Fade for Del Hinton. All over that one. But the ones at the rear are starting to jump a little bit poorly. And we're getting quite dragged out here for a two mile two event. Still got over a mile to travel. And still a further eight fences to jump. But it's still Worthy V that leads us with Business Lady for company. And length or so back to New Orleans. Out wide is awesome Paddy in the black silks. We get to the eighth. Skips. Oh, and we've lost one there. Darling Deanie's gone. So Alex Cherry leads us, but uh, his second runner's out of it. So it's Business Lady from Worthy V. New Orleans, Sing Fade, Awesome Paddy. Still wins against the fence. Killing Bike in the grey out wide. Then followed through by Anagram on his own. We get to the ninth. We'll wrap it over it. Then followed through by Grey Lamy Worthy. Jabuel. Fascinate, Pipe and Lie, Tempe Crackpot, Francis Drake, and the two at the rear, Viking Girl and Bonchier River, which are a little bit wide, and I can't actually see Bonchier River. But up front is Worthy V that leads him into the 10th. He's up and over it. There's all the rest, and it's Worthy V that leads us from Business Lady in second, Killing Viking the Great. Wide third. Fourth is New Orleans. Fifth is Awesome Paddy. We'll get over that one. Uh, five fences to go. Just over half a mile to travel. So it's New Orleans and Worthy V. They're together now from Business Lady, Killing Viking, Orson Padding, Grey Lamy, Worthy making up some room. Allegram as well. Out wide is Jabuel. The pink silks are Sing Fade. Widest of all is Rose Park in the black silks being pushed along. They get to the 12th. They're all over it. And up front is still New Orleans and Worthy V. They're doing well with Grey Lamy Worthy joining his stable compatriot. They get over the 14th. There's only going to be two left to jump. And it's New Orleans from Worthy V. Grey Lamy Worthy. The two out wide are Jabberwell and Rose Park being followed through by Killing Bike in the grey. New Orleans still leads us though by a length and a half. into, And he's gone over that really slow. And Worthy V's taking it up now inside the final furlough. We've only got one left to jump. It's Worthy V and Rose Park. Allegram trying to run. And Worthy V gets over it. Rose Park as well. It's these two. Is Allegram going to do anything but Worthy V hanging on there inside the last hundred yards? Here comes Rose Park. Rose Park. Worthy V. Ooh. Rose Park get up there. The angle of the, the line's a little bit tough. We'll wait for the car to come up. We'll see the replay. I nicked it from Doug. I'll be gutted if I've won that by a nose. Oh, it's come up, but maybe it wasn't. Oh, I won two races in a row here. Amazing. 
He's 33 in race 34. Yeah, takes it by a short head. Rose Park takes it. Worthy V for Doug Warren is second. Alagram for Martin Leadham is third. The common take is one, two, three. Fourth was Francis Drake for Kevin Meenahan. Jabuel was fifth for James Follis. And I apologise, Doug, that I beat you. Sorry, mate.